If you're using macOS on an old unsupported Mac, don't update right away when there is a new macOS version. Otherwise, that might happen to your Mac as well. So what happened? macOS Sonoma 14.1 was released a few days ago and some of you just jumped on the new version and updated their unsupported Macs. And down in the video comments of my easiest tutorial, for instance, um, how to install Sonoma or Ventura or Monterey on unsupported Macs, I got a lot of comments in the last few days where people tell about problems. Down in the video description as a pinned comment you find a link to my discord server where we nearly reach 300 uh, subscribers on the discord channel so if you'd like to join ask your question there and in the chat your uh, question might be or your problem might be solved very quickly instead of just commenting to the video and waiting for answers on the comments. So I invite you just join the discord and let's talk there instantly and help each other. But what happened on this MacBook Pro 2012 I just did a regular update from system preferences. On the MacBook Air 2013 I created a USB drive and updated from USB just to have two different options to update from macOS Sonoma 14.0 to 14.1. And that what a lot of uh, subscribers already commented and asked in the Discord channel as you can see those old Macs just get stuck at around one third of the progress bar during update. And even though there is a new open core legacy patcher version 1.1.0 that just fits with the new versioning to macOS Sonoma 14.1. So these two versions should fit together and the Open Core Legacy Patcher 1.1 should enable macOS Sonoma 14.1. I did install the Open Core Legacy Patcher on the devices 1.1 and also on the USB drive, but despite having the new version, they both got stuck during update. Now let's try to find out how we can get those both Macs up and running and finish the update to 14.1. But again, don't jump onto new macOS version updates. Wait until there's first a new Open Core Legacy patcher if required. But more important, if you haven't yet subscribed my channel or any other YouTuber that's going with the Open Core Legacy patcher like Mr. Macintosh or like the Ultimate Mac Pro Guide and just wait until there's a thumbs up from me or from my uh, colleagues that it is safe to update with this and that open core legacy patcher version. First of all, let's try something that I always recommend if there's anything stuck. Let's try an NVRAM reset. That is done during reboot. So we will switch it off um, those MacBooks. And when we switch it on again, we have to keep command Alt key or Option key, depending on your keyboard, R and P for Reset PRAM or Reset NVRAM. And then let's see um, if it continues with the installation. When we do that, we might have to keep the Alt or Option key pressed to select the Open Core, the EFI boot again, because it also forgets the standard boot option. So let's start with the MacBook Pro. I keep those keys pressed. Now you hear the second chime, that is a louder chime. And you see that is the EFI boot, the open core um, boot selector. That is open core install. And let's see if maybe the progress bar continues. We can do the same with the MacBook Air. Keep those four keys pressed. Second chime. Keep the older option key pressed because I want to boot from the USB drive. And there we see the EFI boot from USB. If you now keep control pressed, you can see that it changes to a circle to set it as a standard boot option. And then we start again and let's see maybe if the progress bar here continues. 
So unfortunately, that obviously didn't help. That would be too easy. So next step that we can try is to boot into the safe mode where not all drivers are loaded. Keep shift pressed while I select the Macintosh HD, the Mac OS. Okay, so that looks different. We do have a percentage below the progress bar while we now started it with shift pressed and let's try the same with the MacBook Pro. And now when we are here in the open core boot selector, we just keep shift pressed and hit return and select the Mac OS. And now let's check if maybe here the progress bar continues. We are in the login and maybe you've seen up here there was the safe mode in the top right corner. And now after the login we do have a indicator below the progress bar about four minutes remaining. So at least it continues installing the macOS as it seems. So it seems that just keeping shift pressed in the open core boot selector screen and then selecting Macintosh HD or whatever the name of your hard disk is, not install macOS because that was already done, helps continuing the update process. Here on the MacBook Pro, the progress bar continues and it says about two minutes remaining. And here with the MacBook Air, we are at the login screen, I entered the password and now you can see the setting like analytics and so on. So that looks like an updated Sonoma and we will just check if that is version 14.1 or still 14.0 and maybe nothing happened. So let's check what version we do have here. So here we are and it says problem report for Windows Server. Um, and OpenCore just uh, detected that we're booting from USB, which is correct because I did the update from USB. We just cancel that and we don't set any report because anything crashed. That was obvious because it could, didn't continue. So let's just go to about this Mac and check. And yes, it says Sonoma 14.1. Here we go. It seems that the MacBook Pro also has completed the update and it asks for the analytics. We can just continue that and let's check if both now have version 14.1 if the update was successful and remember always when you do an update the root patches are gone. So you have to reapply the root patch of the open core legacy patcher. Except for one thing as Apple always says if you created a USB drive and installed from USB, then during the install of the Mac OS, the OpenCore Legacy Patcher already applied the root patches. So I can show you the difference right now um, between those two because the MacBook Pro just did the update from system preferences and the MacBook Air did it via USB. Let's check if the versioning is 14.1 and if there are any root patches required. When we just open the open core legacy patcher and we go to post install root patch, it says all applicable patches already installed today. So we don't need that. We just can close the open core legacy patcher. We can eject the USB drive. And now we do a reboot and set the open core on the hard disk as a standard boot. So it always boots from the hard disk and not asking for USB drive anymore. We keep the Alt or Option key pressed. There is a chime. And without the USB drive, it just shows us the hard disk and EFI boot. We use Control to set EFI boot as standard and we start macOS from the internal hard disk. But now let's check the MacBook Pro and as you can see there's no uh, desktop wallpaper or anything 
and when we just open the launch pad this is quite slow and there is no graphic acceleration at all why is it because due to the regular update that we did there are no root patches installed they just gone when you update it so now we start the open core legacy patcher again and when we go to post install root patch you see there are the available patches we do the root patching and you always have to do that when you do like a regular update not via USB now we do the reboot and now the MacBook Pro should have all the graphic drivers, Wi-Fi drivers, Bluetooth drivers and USB drivers that are missing right now due to the missing root patches. There we go, that's the login screen. And when we now, for instance, go to the launch pad, you can see it just opens up quickly as it should when the graphic drivers are working. Let's check the version about this Mac, Sonoma 14.1. So I hope I could help you with a simple shift pressed during the selection of the Mac OS. You can force the Mac OS update into the safe mode. Maybe you just enter the password and it continues installing either with a percentage or with a minute remaining beyond the progress bar and you should force your old Mac to upgrade to Mac OS Sonoma 14.1 if there are any problems. Not all Mac models do uh, have the problem during the update. Some comments uh, from some of my subscribers say I just did an update flawlessly no problem. If you have a problem just maybe Give me a comment below the video uh, so we can find out which Mac models are affected. At least the MacBook Pro 2012 and the MacBook Air 2013. I just continue installing 14.1 now on the Mac Pro, cheese grater and trash can. So 2012 and 13 to see if these machines also just have a problem during the install. And I will give you feedback in the discord channel if you haven't yet subscribe my channel join the discord thank you so much for watching see you soon bye bye